Hello everyone, it's Guru this side and today in this tutorial we are going to learn how can we bypass simple math captcha using Silver Bullet 1.4. So for this I have a target website here, mypowerpre.com and I want to solve a math captcha available on this page. So I'll simply go to the login page here. And here uh, we have a math captcha 6 plus 4 and we have to solve this in order to log into this page. So for this what I'll do, I'll first of all uh, let us uh, create a config. So I'll copy this URL, open my silver bullet here, and in the configs, I'll click on new. And then here, I will just type the config name. You can give it anything. I'll change the other name like this. And we'll click on accept. Now, since we need the HTML of this page, uh, as this captcha is inside this HTML, what we'll do, we'll just copy this URL entire URL and paste it here and we'll create a simple HTTP request and uh, paste the URL here then we'll click on start now as you can see uh, we'll get the HTML of this page here we have to find out the uh, uh, sorry the capture so for this you can just simply search for uh, here we can see we have this uh, captcha here what is 4 plus 6 so first of all we have to pass this captcha that is we have to extract this thing out 4 plus 6 then only we'll be able to solve it to do this we'll click on plus and then we'll go to parsing then we'll click on parse uh, using parse we can extract the content from this HTML so for this what you have to do, uh, let's just, uh, we'll reuse the LR method, we can give this variable name as captcha, you can give it anything, okay, uh, let's just capitalize it, so captcha, and we'll be using the LR method or the left right method, so uh, we'll just copy the content before the left, uh, so let me just copy this uh, till here, and I'll paste it here, okay, and then I'll copy till here in the right side we have this uh, part I'll just copy and paste it here okay make sure that you don't have uh, anything else written like what is or question mark in this uh, expression okay so if I just run this uh, let's see if we are able to extract it or not so here you can see we have successfully extracted the captcha uh, in a variable called captcha and here it is 6 plus 8 now we have to solve it solving it is also very easy we'll go to the parsing and we'll use the lambda parser here I'll give this variable name as solution okay and here we have to pass the expression now our expression is stored inside the captcha variable here so we'll simply use the captcha use the angular brackets and then type captcha uh, if I just run this again you will see we should also now be getting the uh, response or the value of this uh, captcha so solution is it it's working now let's see how can we pass this to uh, login so for this i'll just right click on this page and click on inspect we'll go to the network tab uh, here i'll enter my email address so we have an account here uh, which we are using test account so I'll just type the email and here we pass the uh, response so 6 plus 4 is 10 if I click on yes and then click on continue a request will be made so existing customer this is a request we have to uh, copy this request in our silver bullet so let me just copy this URL uh, we have to create a new uh, request so plus uh, you can go to the request or HTTP, then HTTP request here. Here I'll simply uh, paste the URL. This is a post method. You can see, as here we can see, this is post method. Uh, we have to copy this request headers also. So for this, what we can do, uh, we'll just right click on this, click on copy and copy as curl or bash. Then we'll just open a new tab and type curl converter.com. Here we'll paste this entire uh, curl uh, command and then I'll click on HTTP. 
ओके सो विल गेट द एच टी टी पी रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ दिस एंटायर रिक्वेस्ट सो लेट मी जस्ट कॉपी टिल हियर ओके डोंट कॉपी दिस फर्स्ट लाइन एंड वी ऑल्सो डोंट नीड द कंटेंट लेंथ सो लेट दिस कॉपी इट एंड पेस्ट इट इन साइड द कस्टम हेडर्स रिमूव एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम हियर एंड पेस्ट इट हियर इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन यू क्रिएट अ कस्टम यूजर इज इन वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न here if you want to change anything you can do if uh we'll just keep everything same and anything to remove uh no we don't have to remove anything uh next we just have to copy this post uh body so this is the body we will copy it and paste it inside post data okay now see this is a uh, url encoded Uh, if i just go to payload this is a uh, form data okay uh, this is not url encoded if it was uh, url encoded at the rate will be uh, instead of directly printing at the rate it will be url encoded so currently it's not will also not encode it and content type will be this here we have to change the email with our user so will this pass user here and here we have to pass the solution now our solution is stored in the solution variable so for here and pass solution and here let's just copy this uh email id and password and paste it here okay let's see if we are getting the response for this so if we are successfully uh if we are able to uh copy this or iterate this in silver bullet will get this response as success okay so i'll just simply click on start <laughs> let's see if we're getting a success or not so here we are getting captcha error now let's see why this is happening uh, it's possibly because uh, we have to uh, pass uh, keep the same uh session here okay since we are changing this session that's why it's happening like this so don't worry we don't have to do much uh all you have to do is we have to just copy this entire thing that we have written here and paste it in inside here okay custom headers and here click on append response cookies that's all Now let's try once again and let's see if it works or not. Okay, so see now we are getting success. Okay, uh, in response, it is also sending me the telephone number associated with this account, which in our case is fake. Okay, but anyways, now it's working. Uh, remember, if we are getting an error, you have to maintain the session. Okay. which uh, to do this you have to just copy this entire uh, headers to in the first request as well now we are good to go uh, if you are successfully uh, if you want to add key checks you can add but let's just not do it as it will increase the video time or length so here i'll just type my password <laughs> and if i click on login a uh, new uh, request will be made like this Okay, so now we have to iterate this or copy this in syllabus as well. So here it is. Uh, again, let me just right click on it. Copy, copy a skull. I'll just go here. Uh, we don't need this one this time, but anyways, since we need the post body, that's why I have to do it. Okay. So for this we have to create a new uh, request. So let me just copy this URL, and we'll create a new HTTP request here. Uh, I'll paste the URL here. Uh, I'll just copy it from screen. And I'll paste it here. again this is a post method now we have to maintain the session so we'll simply just copy this entire headers 
and paste here as well okay then we need to uh, paste the uh, post body which is here now here this time you can see this is url encoded so you can just uh, paste it like this and you can just turn on the url encoded content okay here we have to change uh, replace the original email with our user and password with pass now if we are able successfully logged in we should be able to uh, redirect to this page ok I'll just uh, make a request to this and see if we are getting uh, this thing or not ok so we'll create a new http request and again we'll maintain the session now this is a get request we don't have to pass anything so let's just try running all of this and let's see what we are getting so as you can see we have got the response for all of this if I show you data so uh, the capture is 7 plus 10 and solution is 17 here I am uh, also getting the response so uh, this is direct login where we have passed uh, the email and password here you can see post data email and password and since it's successful uh, in its response we are getting a redirect http mycloud.com slash account which we have already made uh, redirected uh, here you can see and we have got this uh, url now okay 200 response code and we are getting the content of this page as well now if you want you can just uh, extract values from it or create a uh, parse it or like this here we are getting all the uh, user details like name telephone email address report points wallet value uh, like this okay so if you want you can just use the parse method to uh, extract these values or also you can create a capture uh, we will not be doing any of these as we only have to show how to solve a math capture so this is it for this video guys if you love this video leave a like to this like if you are new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next tutorial